Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two box break of 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer. This is a random country break number 20. One spot gets you two teams, so big thanks to everybody here. Let's double you up. And there's all the countries right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Three and a five, eight times for names and countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Got Brian down to Brian. And three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Got Turkey down to Austria. All right, Brian, you got Turkey. Brian Croft with Turkey, Brian Vornberg with Croatia. Matthew with Finland, Brian C with Belgium, Steve Wright with Portugal, Brian V with Poland, Brian C with Hungary. Yuan with Scotland, Brian C with Switzerland, Matthew with North Macedonia, Steve with England. Brian Croft, you got Germany, Sweden, Ukraine, Wales. Yuan with Denmark, Steve with Italy, Matthew with Spain, Brian Croft with France, Matthew Shear with Russia and Slovakia, Steve with the Netherlands, Matthew with the Czech Republic, and Brian Croft with Austria. Let's sort alphabetically by country. And we're going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time while I go run and grab those two boxes. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. No deals were done here in two box break number 20 on a Tuesday. Thanks everyone for getting in. I appreciate it. Here are the two boxes that I randomly grabbed and we posted another two. So if you want to run this back, definitely be happy to do so. Great tournament overall, I thought. A great final too. I feel like England should have won it though. I had a little financial interest in Italy. It worked out. But, uh, but I thought England should have. I mean, they were at home. They scored early and then just got a little too conservative. And Italy became more and more, took more and more control of the game. In the end, they deserved it. But England's got a pretty young team, so I think it'll be interesting to see what what they look like in the uh, in the World Cup. You know, those young players have a little more experience under their belt. All right. Good luck, everybody. You know, guys like Jaden Sancho. Remember, all cards ship. So this one will go to Steve Wright in England. Of course, there's rookie parallels are always nice to have. We've got Stanislav Lobotka for Slovakia, Matthew Shira. The MLB All-Star Game on in the background as well. Jack Grealish, also for England. Some Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. That'll go to Steve Wright. He ended up winning the uh, Golden Boot, had the most goals in the tournament. And 
and we've got a blue parallel here. 22 out of 99. That's Lucas uh, Maso Pust for the Czech Republic. It's going to go to Matthew Shira. little stack here. There's Rui Patricio, Ruben Diaz, red, also for Portugal. Nico Williams for Wales. There's an Mbappe. It's a rough tournament for France as well, but they also have a good collection of youngsters like Mbappe. That'll look good in the next major tournament and be good for the hobby. There's a Mason Greenwood Silver. Also for England, where's our autograph? Oh, there it is. And it's gonna be Pedro Neto. Portugal. It'll be for Steve Wright. Nice. A couple rookie parallels there. We've got a silver rookie for Belgium, Yari Versharian. Brian Croft, with Belgium. And then Austria's Christoph Baumgartner, also for Brian. Next box. Rex, what's up? I wonder if I've, not, I've, been, I've been looking for Pedri on the checklist, but I don't know if he's in this set. Let's go to cardboardconnection.com really quick. It's going well, Rex. Got an all-star game on in the background. We're doing a nice little soccer break here. Things are going pretty well. I think his name is Pedro Gonzalez Lopez. No, the only Pedros in here are Pedro Netos. All right. So maybe in a, another future set, look out for uh, Pedri. Plays for Spain. What club team does he play for? He won young player. Oh, he's a mid central midfielder for Barcelona. Pedri um, won young player of the tournament. So that's someone to look out for. See you, Jesse. Nice, Ryan. Get that on the schedule once this is done. You can read the Mets are interested in Chris Bryant. I'm sure a lot of teams are interested in Chris Bryant. Dodgers are interested in Kimbrel. That's interesting. I feel like that. I feel like they're okay with the relief pitching. I thought if anything they they would go for maybe a starter. But maybe they do want to kind of take care of the back end of that rotation or the, the bullpen though.
Cristiano Ronaldo. if I'd be that happy with Kimbrell. He's having a great season this year, but what if he reverts back to last year's Kimbrell? That's always, that's always a concern, especially in the playoffs. And I, I don't know. I don't think the Dodgers would give up very much for Craig Kimbrell. David Seiger for Hungary. That'll be for Brian. I I want to say Craig Kimbrell's in the last year of his deal too, right? No, he's got 2022, so he's got another year. Oh, Dodgers might actually do that. But they traditionally, unless it's for like a Mookie Betts type, they they traditionally. Oh, here's our auto. It's Julian Brandt, Germany's forward. Yeah, Dodgers traditionally don't give up a lot of a lot of big name youngsters for middle relievers. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, Adam. <laughs> Kimbrel is one of the most nerve wracking pitchers to watch in a playoff game. There's Ivan Oblyakov for Russia. There's Jao Felish. There's Rodri, not Pedri, but Rodri. Right, yeah, well, that's what I've been saying since the beginning of the season, Rex. They got they got to move the likes of I think they got to move as many players as possible so they could rebuild that farm system and get some young players on that squad and kind of have them all be able to grow together. All right, we got a couple rookies here for France. It's Eduardo Camavinga. Red rookie for Brian Croft in France. And Brian also has Belgium. We'll get this uh, Boyata. Any guys to look out for in the in the next major tournament here. There's Bukayo Saka. Rough penalty kick for him, but again, he's super young. He'll learn. Learn from the experience. Mosaic Jack Grealish. There's Timo Werner. And we got a couple red rookies here, a couple fun inserts there. And that is that. Soiri for Finland. That's for Matthew Shira. And we got a Dmitrievsky for North Macedonia. That's going to be for Matthew Shira as well. All card ship. And it's, I, I've said this before in these videos. It's worth kind of looking up uh, a lot of these players because you may be surprised at some of the secondary market value, especially when the next tournament rolls around or when the next soccer season rolls around later this summer slash fall. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. we got two more in the store. We can run it back tonight. We'll see you next time for the next one.